The Bible says the most high is sovereign over the kingdom of men. I chose you out of the world, therefore the world will hate you. Sanctification is the gradual process by which a believing Christian is made holy through the Holy Spirit. The supernatural is what makes Christianity much more than a mere religion. For a sanctified life is indispensable for a Christian if he or she wants to be in good relationship with God and grow in grace. The primates, prelates, ministers and entire members of the Church of the Lord Worldwide invite the general public to the year 2021 Restoration Night Grand Finale. Date is the 30th of April 2021. Time 6 p.m. till dawn. Venue Victory Night Ground, Kilometer 60, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Ogiri Remo, Ogun State, Nigeria. Ministering His Holiness, the Most Reverend Dr. Rufus Okikiola Oshitelu, the primate of the Church of the Lord Worldwide, and all other anointed men of God. Jesus is Lord. People of God, the Easter message of today is as found in the scriptures. But what is important is, I have tagged this message, Jesus is the reason for the season. The spiritual death is mentioned in the book of Revelation. And it is the same death that is termed the second death. Yes. Because the first death, it is apportioned to man to die but once and face judgment. So that is something every one of us will experience. But the second death, is not for everyone. All those that have been saved will not taste in the second death. Only the children of destruction, the followers of Satan, that will experience the second death, which is the spiritual death. So our Lord Jesus gave his own life to pay our penalty for us so that we might live. Because the wage of sin is death. He offered himself once and for all as the final sacrifice for sins. After Jesus has died on the cross for every one of us, there is no need for any priest, pastor, prophet, whatever title, to kill any animal for remission of sin. Because Jesus has offered himself once and for all. It was the final, the Bible says, the final sacrifice for our sins. From that 
time on, it is his blood that cleanses us from all our sins. After shedding his blood for us, Christ rose from the grave and he proclaimed victory over sin. He proclaimed victory over the second death. And his victory became our victory. His life became our life. All the rights that he has became our rights. People of God, Jesus Christ is the reason for the season. This message is both memorable and profoundly true. It is profound because it speaks to us about the measure of our lives. The truth, however, is that Jesus is the reason not only for the season, but for every season of life. This is because it is in him that we have a new definitive way to think about God. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Beloved in Christ, this is the message of Easter. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. As a believer, we need to refocus on why Christ died and ask yourself if you are living for that purpose. Sing and meet your plans and your anticipations. Think of all your future plans. Merits of the season. People of God, there is power, wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. The power to save, the power to sanctify, the power to empower, the power to heal, and the power to deliver. We sing sometimes some of these songs. There is power in the blood of Jesus to heal, to sanctify, to, 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 to deliver, and to empower. And according to Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5, we are told, and I read, Surely, Jesus took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet, we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. <laughs> O si gbe ikanu wa lo sugbon awa ka si bi eni ti ana ti alu lati odo olorun ti a si pon loju sugbon asa ali ogbe nitori re koja wa apa alara nitori ase dede wa ina alaafia wa o nbe ni ara re ati nipa ina re le amuwa lara da the messiah strength the lord jesus christ strength is shown by our humility agbara ti christi 
And in him it is shown by his own suffering for us. It is shown by his love for us. It is shown by his mercy, by his compassion for every one of us. Who would have thought that God will choose to save the world through a humble, suffering servant rather than a hardly glorious king? Let us stop blaming the Israelites. Particularly the Hebrews. The Jews. As normal human beings, they were expecting a king, an emperor. They knew the promise God gave to them. But they were not expecting that it will come through a humble servant. A sovereign servant. Rather, they were expecting a majestic glorious king to come and rescue them. A warrior that will defeat both the Roman Empire and their oppressors. But, but God surprised them because God loves the humble God hates the proud so God sent a humble servant a loving servant to suffer for the sins of the world no wonder Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 tells us, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth, and under the earth every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Chapter 2, 9 to 11. Yes, sir. Religious plus education. Yes, that is education in totality. For a child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ogirere Morgan State, the Church of the Lord College, Ogirere Morgan State, Aladura Comprehensive High School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery and Primary School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogerere Morgan State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have a conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, basic computer education, career counseling, science and introductory technology laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in process at Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ogerere Mo. The Church of the Lord College, Ogiriremo, Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Ashamu, Nosrian Primary School, Antony Village, 
Aladura Theological Institute, Ogeremo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. For details, contact the Church of the Lord Worldwide, Ogeremo Spiritual and International Headquarters, PO Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these lines. Aladra groups of schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. So if we say we are Christians, we are supposed to follow Christ. That's what it means. Christians are followers of Christ Jesus. So therefore, it, we should also live as he lived. We should develop his attitude of humility. And we should see ourselves as servants to serve others, but not to be served. We now have the opportunity to either choose to regard Jesus as Lord and Savior now as a step towards loving dedication. Or you can choose to be forced to acknowledge him as Lord and Savior when he returns at the second advent. That may be too late. Because when he comes the second time, he's going to rapture his own. So you will not have the time. And you will now have to go because you have seen the light. You will now have to go through what the Bible says, the people that went through the tribulation. Great tribulation. The Bible says it clearly what they will experience. Unlike now that you can just receive Christ into your life without any consequence. In that time, anybody that mentions the name of Jesus will be killed. No. Now, we can receive Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior without any consequence. But when the great tribulation, who is yet to come during the second advent, actually the great tribulation comes after the second advent of Christ Jesus. That time, anybody who mentions the name of Christ will be killed. So, it is now left to you and me to accept Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Tomorrow may be too late. Give your life to Jesus right now. As you are listening to this message, invite God, Jesus, into your life. Tell him, Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into my life and indwell me. Let me also be in you. I believe that you died for my sins. And on the third day, you rose again from the dead. And you ascended into heaven. Make me your vessel. Live in me. And let me also live in you. And thank God for answering your prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. People of God, let us celebrate this Easter season with joy and spiritual freedom from sin. Let us celebrate this 
Easter season with freedom from satanic attacks. Let us celebrate this Easter season with freedom from evil passions. From, from evil desires. For all of them were defeated on the cross when Jesus died and rose again on the cross. Therefore, take some time to soberly ask yourself if the purpose of Christ's crucifixion and death has been truly achieved in your life. Ask, ask yourself if you are enjoying the full benefits of Jesus' death on the cross. Remember, Jesus is the reason for all the seasons. Not only for Easter, even for Christmas, and all other Christian celebrations. Jesus is the reason for the season. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you for a moment like this to feed at your feet. We thank you for the word that you have spoken unto us. We thank you for giving us listening ears and the mind to receive your message. Because we know and we trust you and we believe you that you are the source of all good things. There is nothing too hard for you to do. Because you are God of all possibilities. You do all things are possible. Everlasting God of glory. Everlasting God of glory. Everlasting God of glory. Call on you, Father, seal their prayers with Amen. Amen. And grant unto them according to their hearts. Let your blessings continue to overflow in their life. Father, I decree and I command in your name. Turn around all their wants into plenty in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn around all their agony into joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree and I command in your name alone. Turn around all their impediments into comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn around all their failures into successes in the name of Jesus. Turn all their wilderness into fertile land in Jesus' name. I decree and I command in your name alone. Turn all the problems and challenges into great testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Fight their battles for them and turn all their battles into victory. We know our wants, but you you alone know our needs. Father, satisfy the needs of your people to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. 
viewers, you can continue to call the numbers you are seeing on your screen. You can call them for intercessory prayers. You can call them for counseling. And you can share your testimonies with us. The more you share your testimony, the goodness of the Lord in your life, the more the Lord will continue to bless you. So we see you again next week. Same station. Same day. Same time. Until then, remain blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye bye. It is well. It is well with you in Jesus' name. The primates, prelates, ministers, and entire members of the Church of the Lord Worldwide invite the general public to the year 2021 Restoration Night Grand Finale. Date is the 30th of April 2021. Time, 6 p.m. till dawn. Venue, Victory Night Ground, Kilometer 60, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Ogiri Remo, Ogun State, Nigeria. Ministering His Holiness, the Most Reverend Dr. Rufus Okikiola Oshitelu, the primate of the Church of the Lord Worldwide and all other anointed men of God. Jesus is Lord. We are serving the Lord of miracles. We know. Yes, we know. We are serving the Lord.